What's up guys? Happy New Year. It's Giuseppe here. Um, shoot, I'm gonna put on a shirt real quick. Be right back. Here. Anyways, I just want to wish you guys a happy new year. Hope you guys had awesome holidays, great Christmas, great New Year's, and you guys are planning out your goals for this year. Alright guys, let's go outside. Alright guys, what's up? We're here in the backyard. Hey Corky. Say hi. We got Corky the Beast, the full natty bruh. 7% body fat year round right here. I want to talk about the goals that I actually set for myself in 2015 and which ones I accomplished and which ones I didn't. Number one, we got 7% body fat and I went ahead and checked that off. I easily achieved that one. Then we got 225 pound bench press for five reps. I achieved that like in like three months of the 2015 new year. Then we got the 225 squat for eight reps. That was easily achieved again. 225 deadlift for eight to 12 reps. I actually did not deadlift until like summer. So then once summer hit, that's when I actually started all my deadlifting. 135 pound overhead press with a five by five. Now, um, I did this with the Smith machine. I have it in one of my arm workout videos, but I never did it with just the regular barbell. So I didn't cross that one off because I actually never did it. When I have tried with friends or in the previous, I only could go up to uh, 35 pounds, but I was never really pushing myself to get the 135 pounds. Here's a different one. Uh, 1K in savings is $1,000. And I actually achieved that one. Um, worked a lot over summer and then saved my money quite well. Bought the camera that I'm recording with. And then last summer I bought my MacBook. Stay in the 160s or above. Uh, yeah, I'm 190 pounds, so I think you can kind of guess how I did with that one. Compete in one show, I actually did not compete. Um, I was thinking about it coming into the June, but I don't know, I just, I didn't want to do it. I really should do it, but with the time and how, with how everything was happening in my life, I just it was like, this isn't for me. And here's funny, at least one new YouTube video every two weeks. I was doing one every single week, so I was really good, and then with like summer hit, then I kind of slack actually so yeah I missed that one I there was a month where I did not upload a video but if you average it out sometimes I was uploading twice a week and one week I uploaded every single day 1k subscribers that's your fault I'm just kidding guys um, we're at 668 as I checked this morning so it's still really good um, that I mean I started with like what 15 subscribers just because I had guitar videos and then um, when I took a picture I had 36 subscribers and then now we're at 668 so it's amazing thank you guys for watching I love all of you and then tune up on car um, yes I got that uh, it was very expensive but um, again you work hard and uh, you pay off everything that you need to and you live your life. So for the new year, I have some new goals that I wanna achieve and I plan on getting all of them. Fitness related goals, I wanna achieve a 315 bench press. Even if it's only one rep, I wanna hit three plates on bench press along with my squat as I have not hit three plates on squat. And if we go over to deadlifts, I wanna hit that four or five, but I think four or five is gonna come a little easy. So um, we'll see how it goes. But I tried the sumo squat stance and uh, my back's a little hurt right now, so I haven't even even been touching three plates but I'm pretty sure if I train for like a month or two I can get four or five and also I feel like I'm a little fat right now 190 pounds probably like 13% body fat maybe 12 just depending um, but I, I want to go back to the single digit body fat percentages and I want to get ripped again so right now I'm on a kind of a slow cut um, I have my breakfast with high protein and I kind of like don't eat that much in a day then I have a nice dinner workout and then have my post-workout meal which is my shake and some extra carbs so I'm gonna try to lean down back maybe 8% body fat like that and then once summer comes around I try getting to the 7 and touch 6% again well actually I was never 6% body fat but I want to touch 6 but yeah so those are pretty much my fitness goals I just want to stay on top of everything and be really active and I'm also running a half marathon come St. Patrick's Day so that's gonna be very different for me but besides all the fitness stuff there's a lot of personal things I want to achieve personally I want to be able to appreciate and love of what I have in the moment. Um, I catch myself a lot of thinking about what if I had this, what if I had done this, or um, maybe if I had this, I could do this better. And uh, I need to start appreciating what's actually given in front of me because, you know, I have a lot. I wake up every day. I have a family who loves me. I got a cute dog. I'm going to college, you know. I got a job. I got a car. A lot of things are going well for me, and I need to be more thankful. So I just want to start appreciating more and live life with really no regrets whatsoever. I want to go on, like, my first hiking trip. I want to go camping. I want to go do a lot of outdoorsy things and just kind of stray away from 
I don't know, the city. But I am a city boy, so I don't know because I love recording. Which comes to another thing, recording. I want really good quality. I want really awesome edited videos. And now if you guys do not know, I'm actually very interested in business and stocks and things like that. For the past month, I actually have been slacking terribly on my stock game. I learned a lot and then, I don't know, I just like took a break when school got out. I was stupid. I started on Thanksgiving. But um, yeah, so I'm getting back on that. And uh, I just want to kind of make back the money that I spent for. If I can have a 200% return weight, then uh, I'll be more than happy. And this summer, I want to quit my job at KFC and hopefully get another job that involves marketing or sales. And um, if you guys check my Instagram, I am at 4,000 followers. I actually want to get up to the 10K this year, hopefully by summer, and just really step up my whole game on all this uh, social media platform because I have such ambitions and intentions to do things but the thing that I like most is my execution so if I'm able to execute what I say I'm gonna do and what I say I'm gonna put out I think that I can achieve a lot of the goals that maybe like I didn't last year with the 1k subscribers maybe go for 5k this year and uh, if I fall short at 3k you know it's better than 1k but yes guys thank you for watching this video I know it was a little short choppy but um, I just wanted to kind of tell you guys where I'm coming from a lot with the love and appreciation thing and I want to know what your guys' plans are you know tell me what your goals are for this year what you want to achieve and I challenge you to start reading a book every month that's something I incorporated in summer of 2015 and honestly I'm so glad that I've done that it's opened my eyes to a lot of things and kind of put clarity into my visions as a person but it's Zepp you signing out here I hope you guys enjoy the video like comment subscribe and see you guys in the next one Zepp out